what's going on YouTube happy Thursday this video is not gonna totally be about what I'm about to say right now but I'm just gonna go ahead and say it in the beginning and get it out of the way you know I put the video up yesterday about I hate weak women then I change the topic to I hate unmotivated women let me just give you some uh, more light on that of why I actually said that I know some very powerful women you know one woman in particular is funny because after I made this video, I talked to both of them yesterday. But anyways, I remember when I went to Nepal, probably one of the most biggest bag companies and, and clothing apparel companies that, that import um, products from Nepal to, the, uh, to Canada is a female. You know, and we were sitting there talking. This chick has been all over Thailand. She's telling me about, oh, I should go to the Canton show and... In, in China and I was like I already been there I mean I mean just by herself and she has three kids and a husband you know she's just not this fragile person just staying at home and just you know doing this this and she's talking about how she's about to move part 90% of her business from Nepal to Bangladesh I mean this is a strong woman and I have a family member and actually I put her um, link in this video graduated from Juilliard graduated from Yale you know, um, an amazing cello player. I mean, just powerful women. So when I see women that, you know, that excel to these heights and, and, and do things, I, I don't accept the weak, fragile woman, you know? Because we forget that we're human beings and we have the ability to be anything we want to be. Which brings me to my next point of, you ever heard that phrase, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. And for the longest time as a kid, I used to wonder, like, why do people keep saying this phrase? Why are they saying that, you know, I would rather work. It's better to work, 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 work so you can stay out of trouble. You know, and I hear this a lot. But here's the thing. I honestly think, and I've heard, had a couple people contact me on YouTube about this, that when they get bored... They find themselves doing destructive things like going to strip clubs, uh, gambling, drinking. Um, I mean, the list just goes on. They have no constructive uh, activities that they can go to when they get bored. Or outside of work, they have nothing positive going on in their life. There's some people who get off work and as soon as they come home, they just start drinking until the freaking moon, <laughs> until the moon comes up and then they pass out and they go to sleep. No productive things to add any value to your life. So here's the question I have. What hobbies do you have to, I mean, what hobbies do you have that add that adds strength to your life. That I mean, that just bring power to your life. You know, I was looking at a guy yesterday uh, on a paper that he wrote. He's getting ready to go present that paper at Oxford University. You know, and I, and I rap to that guy sometimes, and he talks about how oh, he's a brainiac and he loves learning and he he loves things, and evidently he does because that's where he's going. You know, so are you doing any productive hobbies or? productive things because this is what I do I try to fill my life up with a schedule that is so powerful that if I'm alive 20 years from now it's gonna turn me into a freaking beast when it comes to how I develop as a human being you know the hour of reading every day a must gotta do it even when you don't feel like doing gotta do it you know the hour working out Monday through Friday trying to eat good Monday through Friday or, you know, and have one cheat day, you know, trying to learn a language and just add, look, we can be anyone we want to be in life. We can do anything we want to do in life. It may not happen overnight. It may take some time to develop, but we have the ability to do it. And the way to start it is by taking one step at a time, taking your time, getting in your zone getting in your office, getting in your closet, whatever you got to do, close the door, keep the, the world out, and I guarantee you an hour, an hour, an hour, which translates into many hours later on, you will see the benefit. People will look at you and say, man, 
this is a unique person. How did you become this way? Because you worked on yourself. You didn't spend time killing your body. You didn't spend time wasting time at casinos, buying lottery tickets and and all these other trash and you know buying packs and packs of cigarettes. You were always in the zone. So I want to see what you guys have to say about this. Also, I'm gonna put my family members uh, link uh, in the in the description box of her actually playing. But uh, but yeah, but no disrespect to women. You know, I just have seen women that have shown amazing, powerful traits that I can't accept a woman that doesn't. So, with that said, guys, thank you guys for watching this channel. And until next time, my is getting a little weak. Signing off.